Attack of the Underwear Dragon, written by Scott Rothman, illustrations by Pete Oswald. Cole had always wished he could be an assistant knight to Sir Percival, his favorite knight of King Arthur's Round Table. So Cole wrote him a letter. Dear Sir Percival, I would make a great assistant knight because I am smart, I work hard, and whatever I don't know, I promise to learn. Please give me a shot. Love, Cole. Sir Percival read Cole's letter and cried. That's right, knights cry. Knights cry at sad plays and bad plays, when they step on something sharp or run into a harp, when they cut onions or get bunions, when they get stuck on castle ceilings or when a wizard hurts their feelings. But Sir Percival cried because he had once written a letter to his favorite knight, Sir Lancelot, who had given him a shot. So Sir Percival made Cole his assistant knight. Cole had a lot to learn. He learned how to sharpen Sir Percival's swords, spears, battle axes, and knight pencils. He learned how to ride a horse and swing a sword, how to paint Sir Percival doing awesome night poses, and calm Sir Percival when he awoke from nightmares about a big, scary underwear dragon. Cole learned how to get knocked off a horse, knocked down by a knight, knocked over by a princess, and knocked out by a catapult. At battle time, Cole learned how to pack Sir Percival's stuff, lug it to battle, cheer for Sir Percival when the battle began, and bandage his boo-boos when it was all over. Cole loved learning what made Sir Percival a great knight, even if Sir Percival was terrified an underwear dragon would come and destroy the kingdom. Unfortunately, an underwear dragon came and destroyed the kingdom. All the knights fought the underwear dragon, and all the knights lost. Pretty soon, there was only one knight left. Pretty soon, there were no knights left. So Cole wrote another letter. Dear Underwear Dragon, I am only an assistant knight of the round table, but I think you should clean up the mess you made because it's not nice to mess up a kingdom that does not belong to you. I can help if you want. Love, Cole. The Underwear Dragon got Cole's letter and ate it. That's right, Underwear Dragons can't read. Underwear dragons can't read letters, jesters, sweaters, billboards, signs for gill swords, party invitations, poems about crustaceans, royal decrees, bath oil recipes, moat signs, goat kinds, menus, words with ten U's, or even maps that medieval hens use. The underwear dragon went to eat coal next. When coal saw the underwear dragon, he was scared, and when the underwear dragon attacked, coal didn't think he would be able to do anything. But then, coal remembered everything he'd learned from being an assistant knight and fought and jousted, and wrestled, and catapulted the underwear dragon, until its underwear flew off. And so did the dragon. 
The whole kingdom cheered and helped Cole clean up the mess the underwear dragon had made. Back at his castle, King Arthur made Cole a knight and gave him a place at the round table. But Sir Cole just wanted to get some rest. Because tomorrow he needed to find his own assistant knight of the round table. For Ella, Cole, and Maxwell, SR. For Sir Vincent, PO.